we're going to do break even. And break even is knowing what level of sales do I need to cover my costs. And if you're so bullish as, as that, we also want to know break even sales to cover my fixed costs, the cost of the business, and profit. So we know this about the business economics. You got a sales line. And for the moment, we're just going to call that a thousand, right? Now, if you're in the business of selling units of things, I don't care if you're selling an hour of service, uh, going to a house and changing out a uh, water heater as a plumber, uh, or you're putting a new roof on a, on a home, that's a unit of sale. And so that's, my, that's what I'm collectively pulling together uh, for that period of time. But the costs that are associated with that unit of sale, that's a direct cost. That's a variable cost. I can't sell a widget unless I buy the material. I can't sell the widget unless I have labor in the plant. So that's my variable cost or direct cost. And I got to subtract that from my sales to know what money am I making on that unit of sale. Really important. I'll explain more in a second. So let's just say that that uh, direct costs associated with all the units of sale that go into that thousand, let's just say that that's $500 worth. So I subtract that from my sales and that leaves me my gross profit. I'm going to imagine that many of you have heard about gross profit, okay? So my gross profit dollars are 500 and my gross profit percent, which is that number divided by my sales, is 50%. Guess what? That $500 is all you have left from all of your selling and production activities to cover these things called fixed cost. Fixed cost is got to pay rent, got to pay utilities, got to pay insurance, got to maybe I've got some people on salary. That's your fixed cost. That's the cost that I we write a check for every month just to stay in business. And let's just say my fixed costs every period or during this period is 250 bucks. Then I finally get to profit. Because I'm taking that fixed cost and I'm subtracting it from my gross profit. And I walk away at the end of the year with a $250, just by illustration, profit on all the work that went into my $1,000 of sale. So that's how we get there. The break even is this. The break even is to take my fixed cost, here we go, the $250. And let's say I want to add an extra $500 for profit for me. We have to treat the profit as um, fixed cost. We want to assume that we can get that. So I'm going to add 500 to that. Now I've got to cover my profit expectation and my fixed cost requirement. What amount of sales do I have to have to do that? Here's the math. Here's the math. Can, are we getting all this there? Yep. The math is 750 divided by my gross profit. That's why gross profit is so important. Is it's a fundamental measure of the health of my business, the health of, of the, my sales volume, my profitability, my pricing. I divide 750 by 0.5 and I get, what is that, $1,500, right? I'm doing it with all my calculator, <laughs> guys. I'm not real good at that. Okay, $1,500. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I've got a problem. If that's my break-even sales to get to my goal, I'm short. So I'm short 500 bucks, okay? Which says I better go back and take a look at my sales and marketing engine to make sure I've got the right strategies and activity in place 
to get me to my goal. That's the use of break even, and that's the little exposure of how important these rudimentary numbers are to running your business. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm more visual. To me, this is how I look at break even. You want the board? Sure. Just wait. So you got your. Um, this is what? Cost. This is your income. Actually, is it, or is it reversed? So if you've got, these are your fixed costs. Let's see, this is your $500. And this is your unit of sales. So right here is your break-even point, is where your unit of sales meets your fixed costs, including your unit of sales costs. Pretty much? Uh, yeah, uh, your... Although my, my uh, graph isn't quite right. Yeah. It, nevertheless, if we understand the importance of break-even, we can extend the analysis around break-even to know exactly, exa go away, exactly. Uh, that's why I like it so much for, for business owners, is I want to be able to convey to them, what's the size and energy that's required around my sales and marketing engine? to get me not only at break even but at break even with my profit expectation in it that's <laughs>